historically, we, we tell stories uh, around the, the partnerships, the, the people in this room and the providers who deliver services. This year, we've decided to change that tack and provide each and every one of you with three real stories of the results and benefits of your work, of our partnerships, as it relates to the outcomes of these three very different individuals. Eric, society, and then a young 16-year-old who I won't mention all of the things that he's been engaged in, but let's just say that uh, he's seen uh, Colonel Dotson's system on a number of occasions. And we're very happy that that young man has really truly started to see a positive change in his life. I'm gonna be very honest with you all. Uh, three days ago, I changed glasses. I now have a trifocal. <laughs> and the, uh, the, tech, the tech size is not quite the size it should be. So we're gonna pretend uh, as we go through this that uh, I am reading it verbatim, but if we make a few screw ups, please bear with me. Chief Dodson, thank you very much. Thank you for taking the time. We know, uh, as we talked earlier, in preparation for the, uh, the baseball season, it's always an extremely busy time with Ballpark Village. It's always, uh, well, not always, it is now an extra busy time because of that new facility. I think we are a much better region because of your work. I love your, your, your external relationship building and uh, I think it's nothing, you're gonna do nothing but great things for us in Metropolitan St. Louis. Please give him another hand. Our video says that you and Arches, we enrich lives, we expand opportunities, and we enhance communities. We work with teen parents to become the parents they wish they had been. We help the Somalian community to understand the regulations associated with American child care standards. We instill the love of learning to toddlers and adults. We mentor juvenile offenders. We give adult ex-offenders first, second, third, and where appropriate, fourth, four chances. We provide access to mental health care for students. We improve the quality and safety of family based childcare facilities. We support programs that focus on adoption and foster care and those that serve people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. We improve the vision of grade and middle school students, learn, leading to better grades, and more importantly, better behavior. We provide safe and nurturing after school environments for children from 3 to 6 p.m during that magical bewitching hour where most youth crime occurs. And we, you all, all of us, do so much more every day. We do it because we have, we're a team. We do it with our funders, with our program partners, and quite frankly, we do it because we have a system. And guess what? The system works, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. Many, many people, including Hillary Clinton, Clinton says, it takes a village to raise a child. Well, I disagree with that. I say, Archer says, it takes a system to raise a child. It takes a system to take care of families that need. A system that enriches lives, enriches opportunities, and enhances communities. We do these things for the least of these. Those that need it the most, that have the least resources the children and families in some of the most disadvantaged zip codes in America, unfortunately, in metropolitan St. Louis, metropolitan St. Louis County, and other surrounding counties. And those of you that know me know this, it's not about handouts, it's about hand ups. It's not about pontification, it's about action. It is not ready, aim, fire, it is ready, fire, aim, hoping that strategies, excuse me, hoping that strategies are better and better as the months and years go as we work with these challenged communities. Our system, the Arches system, this partnership system is not always perfect, 
But in the complex world of education and social service delivery, perfection is not always expected. Any positive movement of the needle is a game changer. I say that again, any, any positive movement, positive movement, real movement, outcome movement is a game changer. The Archer system is pretty much a mirror image of what we in this community call collective impact, a theory that has been highly touted the past few years, both locally and nationally. It's something that occurs among those we reach, our program partners, and ultimately the children and families we all serve. It's a change, it's a benefit, it's an effect, it's not an activity. I say that again, what you all do, it's a change, it's a benefit, it's not an activity for the sake of doing something. Not about what happens inside our organizations, but what happens as a result of what we do. So we understand that sometimes you guys get disgusted with us, especially with our processes, our data collection accountability, our evaluations, and frequent site visits that may seem tedious and cumbersome, but trust me, they matter. They matter because we're in the changing lives business. We're in the changing lives business. We are in the changing lives business. It's about young at-risk parents reading to their children, children and learning how to make healthy meals. It's about boys and girls discovering their love of science, music and sports, and after school. It's about a single mom on parole obtaining skills that leads to full-time employment. It's education and social service in a synergy. It's at its very best. It's about continued momentum and new partnerships. This morning, I'm excited to announce several new Arches partnerships that will enhance our mission to improve the lives of, reg of our region's most vulnerable children and families. Last week, and before we, we go into this announcement, uh, let me also introduce to you all Mr. William Dent, who is the Executive Director of the Family and Community Trust Board. He's one of my other bosses. Besides Matt, he's one of my other bosses. Last week, the Annie E. Casey Foundation announced that it had selected the Missouri Family and Community Trust, known as FACT, to serve as its official Missouri Kids Count representative. For those of you that don't know, Kids Count is the authoritative program, or, 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 or I'm sorry, research organization that tells us how our children are doing and how the children throughout America are doing. This is a very, very big deal for the FACT Board. It's a very big deal for Arches and our other 19 community partners. And our charge is to help each and every one of you learn how to use Kids Count in order to garner more grants, in order to garner more resources, so that we can continue to serve the young people and the families here in Metropolitan St. Louis. Arches looks forward to working with FACT and our 20 other community partnerships to strategically deliver the resources to you around Kids Count. Next, Arches has received word that we have been re-awarded funding for two of our strategic mentoring and job placement programs, two programs that you just recently saw in the video. For the second year in a row, Arches has been awarded funds from the City of St. Louis's Public Safety Proposition S Initiative to continue to provide career exploration activities for youth mentoring programs in association with the Missouri Department of Youth Services. These programs provide young people who historically have not been exposed to anything but negative crime environments with the opportunity to see what's real for them if they go through an education process. Some of our partners include BJ Healthcare, Rankin Technical College, Florissant Valley Community College, the St. Louis Downtown Airport, and other businesses. With representatives from the Missouri Department of Youth Services, Father Support Center, and any other City of St. Louis officials that are here, please stand and be acknowledged for your work and your partnership in this program.
Next Arches has been refunded to continue our culinary arts program for female, for female ex-offenders by the Lutheran Foundation of St. Louis. The program offers female ex-offenders scholarships to attend an intensive eight-week chef's course that is augmented with life skills, social service support, resume and interview preparation, and actual job placements. Giving these women the second chances, or in some cases the third chances, or in some cases the fourth chances, to help them finally take ownership and control of, the, of their lives. With representatives from the Lutheran Foundation, Employment Connection, and St. Louis Coll Community College, please stand and be acknowledged for your work. All told, Arches is managing more than $6 million in grants and funding this current fiscal year. By year end, we expect the impact to triple as a result of the partners matched resources and your committed support of our programs. Today, I am also happy to announce several new exciting partnerships and expansion of existing program, programming. First Arches has been hired by Blossom Wood Day School in Hazelwood to assist them as they pursue national accreditation. For those of you that don't know, pre-K child care facilities have national standards that typically, if they are uh, accredited, it will result in more families wanting to attend those programs. It'll result in those children being better prepared as they move through and start the education system. Re research shows us and tells us clearly that the better, the earlier you prepare a child, the least likely that child is, is to in, engage in negative behavior, and more importantly, the more likely that child is to become academically committed as he starts or she starts their school life and continues on through hopefully college and into the workplace. If there's anyone from Blossom Wood, I, I did not get a chance to meet you. If you're here, would you please stand and be acknowledged? No one here? Okay, all right. Regarding accreditation, we know that our early childhood accreditation works. Two years ago, our program that served over 80 child care facilities, we were cut by, by major disagreements uh, in Jefferson City, and I'll just leave it at that. But out of the 30 child care facilities, 30 child care facilities that were in it, 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 preparing to be accredited over the past two years, only two, and those two were 95% complete. So 28 child care facilities in metropolitan St. Louis that were preparing to prepare to be better providers of children's services could not th go through accreditation because Arches funding was cut, your funding was cut, some of you in this room, and we are unable to provide those services. I will say to you that we have not stopped and we are hoping down the road that through partnerships, we're going to be able to re-engage more funding. And then more importantly, we have created consultancy services like Blossomwood, where people are actually paying us instead of expecting funding from the state of Missouri. So I will say we are open for business. We are still seeking funding, but we are open for business. We're also excited to welcome our next new partner, Education Plus. Many of you know them as the former cooperating school districts. Arches and Education Plus are starting our partnership by presenting at one's, uh, one another's professional development events. We believe our shared mission of providing support to area educators will lead to further new programming for the greater good of Greater St. Louis. Sherry Weiner, who is the Chief Strategy Officer, would you please stand and be acknowledged from Education Plus. <laughs> Those of you that know me know that for many years, I have been advocating that Arches partner more closely with our area colleges and universities, providing potential college, uh, providing college students with part-time jobs that have real application 
to their career paths. In fact, I believe that those children becoming young adults should be working in environments that impact grades versus working at McDonald's or working at Macy's or working at the Galleria. I am thrilled to announce today that Arches is working with the University of Missouri St. Louis's College of Education to pilot a new program that's coming this fall that will allow education majors, specifically sophomores through seniors, to work part-time at one of our ASAP after-school locations. The UMSL students will benefit from real-life experience, and the after-school students will benefit from the enthusiasm and vigor of these bright young college students. Dr. Taylor, would you please stand and be acknowledged, the Associate Dean of the College of Education and our new partner. This teaching and learning model will continue to show ASAP as we now complete our seventh year. ASAP is a regional example of great partnerships in which formerly independent programs now work together in a system. Ten partners working together to serve 30 locations in a coordinated system. We've also been busy with ASAP this year, adding several additional new partners to enrich children's lives in the 30 locations. Those new partners include Springboard from the Creative Arts World, the Girl Scouts, and St. Louis University. If we have any representatives from those locations, would you please stand and be acknowledged? Our for-profit subsidiary, Leverage Resources Management, continues to provide and expand its, its client base. We are pleased to announce two new LRM clients, Bethany Place in Belleville, Illinois, and the Habitation Center in Metropolitan St. Louis. I don't think we have any reps. Oh, we don't have any reps, Terry, that's okay. Now last, but far not least, and as I promised you, we will get out of here by nine o'clock, don't worry, six minutes to go. <laughs> I said today that Arches has a system and that it works. Proof demonstrated by our successful outputs and more importantly, our successful outcomes. Proof demonstrated by life change and proof demonstrated by, in this instance, fully objective third party reviewers. We are honored to announce that another one of our programs will be awarded a What's Right with the Region Award by Focus St. Louis this May. For the past five years, Kids Vision for Life has changed the lives of thousands of children with vision, problem, the vision problems. The team behind the partnership is here today. JJ, Matt, and Andonica, would you all please stand and be acknowledged? What's significant about a fully objective third party reviewer is that for the fourth time in an, in an unprecedented environment, Arches has been named a What's Right with the Region Award, or better yet, Arches System has been named with a What's Right with the Region Award. I'm not big on awards for awards sake, but this achievement tells our story, your story, that systems work and we're doing what's right even in difficult times for the greater good. We're doing what's right even in difficult times for the greater good. So as I close, let me humbly say to each of you, thank you for being a part of the family. Thank you for being part of a family of kindred spirits serving our neighbors. Thank you all for accepting crazy ideas from a six foot four chief executive officer who tells his staff we will do it even when they say sometimes we can't do it and then sometimes they say we have done it and not only have we done it we've done it at levels we never expected it to occur i thank my staff because they do the job we throw it on the wall we sometimes create ideas they come to us with ideas we throw it on the wall but in collective impact, whether it's a community or whether it's an organization, 
It's the multiplicity of ideas and then figuring out how to make it work. I simply say that our after school program, our pre-K program, our St. Louis Alliance for Reentry program, and now our Kids Vision for Life program are shining examples of what happens when you have a system that works. When you have partners and providers that are willing to work with you, strategize with you, all for the greater good of Greater St. Louis. With three minutes to go, I say thank you all very much. We'll see you next year. And I can't help but say what, once again, thank you, thank you, thank you.